And what are right. the aims of the organization? So let me play something for you okay. by Klaus Schwab. Yeah. Oh. This is in this Harvard's John F. Kennedy School of Government. He is speaking in 2017. I just, feel like we should have Darth Vader music playing when that guy talks. Please do it when I play. Dun, just have it dun, seriously. Dun. Because can you get Darth Vader music? To this. Hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, yeah. just uh, hold it, please. We've got to have the proper yeah. music for this amazing introduction of Xi Jinping. Are you ready? Yeah. Tell me when. Give me some. Dun, dun, dun. Just the music. Okay, but there you want to hear the audio as well. Yeah. Okay. And I have to say, um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, president of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, so that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau, and I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy for and that's true in Argentina, too. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina, and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president, with a young global leader. But what is important for me... So what you got there is Emperor Palpatine speaking about how in the first, in the preludes, the first three Star Wars, how the, he's going to use democracy to put his people in place, right? He explicitly said in that quote you just heard, what we are very proud of is that we penetrate the global cabinets of countries with our World Economic Forum Young Global Leaders. And then gave examples like Trudeau, like Macron, 